Finally, the answer to lying dating profile pics. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Have you ever shown up for a first date and thought to yourself, whoa, this person looks completely different from their pictures? If so, you're not alone. I'll never forget the time I showed up to a cafe to meet a woman I had been chatting with on a dating app. Her photos made her look maybe late 20s or early 30s. A fresh-faced, fit, stylish young professional. But when the woman walking towards me introduced herself as Jessica, I could barely contain my shock. This woman was clearly in her mid to late 40s at least, with frizzy graying hair, heavy wrinkles, and quite a bit of weight packed on compared to her profile pics. In the world of online dating, it's become pretty common for people to use old, heavily edited, or straight up deceiving photos on their profiles. While it's understandable to want to put your best foot forward, being dishonest about your appearance sets the wrong tone from the start. So what do you do if you find yourself in a situation like that, where your date misrepresented themselves in a major way? Do you just go through with the date anyway? make an excuse to leave, or call them out on the spot. Here are some tips to navigate this very awkward situation. Here are some tips to navigate this awkward situation. 1. Don't make it the focal point. The first rule is to not make a big deal about it right off the bat. As jarring as it may feel to have shown up expecting one thing and getting another, Calling them out on their dishonest pictures right away is a recipe for an awkward and likely unsuccessful date. Making them feel self-conscious or embarrassed about their appearance is only going to put you both in a negative mindset from the start. The better approach is to simply carry on and see how the chemistry and conversation flows before deciding if you want to pursue things further. Two, be honest with yourself while their dishonest pictures shouldn't be the focal point initially, you do need to be honest with yourself about how much of a factor their different look is for you. We all have physical preferences, and dating is inherently looking for certain qualities in a partner. If the way your date presented themselves online was actively misleading about key attributes like age, body type, or natural hair color slash style that don't align with your preferences. It's okay to acknowledge that as a potential incompatibility. However, make sure you give it some time and don't write them off solely based on appearances from one angle. They may simply be insecure or bad at taking flattering photos of themselves. Three, look for character and chemistry rather than getting hung up on how closely their photos match reality. The wiser move is to focus on getting to know them as a person during the day. Look for character qualities, shared interests and values, conversation flow, sense of humor, the things that actually make someone a great partner beyond just their physical looks. You may find yourself surprised by how little the dishonest pictures matter once you make a real connection or their personality may turn you off in a way that has nothing to do with appearances. The point is to not make a final judgment until you've gotten a Bali holistic picture of who they are. 4. Don't be afraid to cut it short. On the other hand, if it becomes clear fairly quickly that this is not going to be a match for you even beyond the photo misrepresentation, don't be afraid to politely end the date early. You don't owe them anything more than a first meeting since deception was involved in getting you there. As long as you remain courteous in ending things, you've held up your end of the bargain. Spending any further time on an incompatible match just wastes both of your time and energy. Be thankful you figured it out after one short date rather than multiple. 5. Have an honest conversation if you do sense real potential with this person beyond the photo issue, then the kind approach is to have an honest but non-confrontational discussion about it at some point. You can say something like I did want to mention. The photos you had on your profile didn't seem to quite capture what you look like in person. That struck me as a little dishonest, even if unintentional. 
I'm wondering if we can commit to being more upfront and authentic with each other moving forward since that's a key value for me. This gives them a chance to explain themselves while also setting the expectation for transparency. Their reaction will give you a window into their character as well. 6. Get their side of the story. There's a chance they may have reasonable explanation that gives you more context. Perhaps the photos are very old and they are insecure about how their appearance has changed. Or maybe they don't take great self-portraits and the photos were taken by a friend from an unflattering angle. It's very possible there was no malicious intent behind the misleading photos, just insecurity or cluelessness about how to best represent themselves online. Before passing too much judgment, get their honest perspective and go from there. We all have opportunity areas for self-improvement. The bottom line, at the end of the day, do a self-assessment about whether you can get past the dishonest representation of their appearance and focus on who they are as a whole person. If the mismatched photos were a momentary source of disappointment, but their overall character, values, and the chemistry you felt outweighs it, then it may be worth giving it a chance. We all have moments of insecurity that cause us to put inauthentic versions of ourselves out there initially. If they're a great match for you beyond that, you'll both laugh about the old photos one day.